Hi, Poo Poo's. Nice Poo Poo when it comes to everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Poo Poo Show. So this is a love checkup reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for love. Keep in mind, these are general messages. They may or may not resonate. If they do, great. If they don't, you can always book a personal reading with me to find out what your story is. Or you can check out your Moon, Rising, or your Venus sign. University of Sun Rising, what's going on? What messages do you have for Scorpio? Someone has this for love. Scorpio, somebody mask is about to get ready and fall off. Because everything that you think is good for you is not. I feel like you're just supposed to be, even though this person wants a second chance, um, you're not really having a good time with this person right now. It's like milk and honey came out in the reverse. So... So you are receiving a lot of downloads from spirit to tell you what you are supposed to be doing. I would highly recommend that you listen to your intuition and listen to pay attention to those signs that spirit is trying to tell you. Even if it's not about love, you, you're receiving downloads about something right now. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus, but, um, <clears throat> or you're dealing with a marriage. So something, something is, some truth is about to come to you. It could be a wish fulfillment for you, or you're going to be receiving clarity that's going to be making you more happy. Even though you're not having a good time with somebody right now, you're not really connecting with them. You're about to be blessed with something to receive more clarity that's, it's look like it's going to be going in your favor. Yeah, brand new beginning. Could be dealing with another Scorpio. Yep. Cycles closing out. We don't know the Aries as well. So somebody want to partner. <laughs> somebody want to partner back up with you. You could have ended something with this person. Or you could have walked away or y'all could be closing out different cycles. So y'all can start a brand new beginning. But it's telling you that you need to take the lead on this one. Scorpios, you guys are stressed. You guys are stressed. Here's your energy. Look, Tower card and the Ten of Wands. Oh, stress. Big time. So this could be somebody from your past. Definitely soulmate energy. Could be somebody also from your past life as well. Or you experienced a past life uh, with this person that you connected with. Uh -oh. So, something is going to move pretty quickly. Look, Ace of Pentacles. Something is going to be presented to you um, pretty quickly. Um, somebody want to reconcile and get back together as well. But, um, if you had an argument with somebody, uh, with your person, it could have been like, very very like um reckless type of uh talking back to each other as well so this person i feel like this person want to make it right <clears throat> well yeah this person want to take a leap of faith with you now um and apologize they don't want to fight no more with the five of wands in reverse. This person don't even want to communicate as don't they could have been the way that they communicate could be like real immature, but they don't want to do that no more. They don't want to communicate like that no more. They don't want to fight. They ain't got the fight in them. They just want to go ahead and take this leap of faith and make things right with you. 
we will come back together on this. Yeah, this person is trying to manifest to be dealing with a Virgo. What I say, you definitely soulmate energy of somebody from your past with this Six of Wands. I mean, Six of Cups. So, yeah, you could have definitely um, lived with this person. Somebody's stuck in limbo about their feelings, though. <laughs> could be you. So this person is waiting for you. Some of y'all could have like, um, if you live with this person or you married to this person, uh, y'all could have like left the household or something like that, or like um, ended something with this person. This person waiting for you to come back home, actually waiting for you to come back around. Even if you're in the same household, they feel like you checked out emotionally. Yeah. So they could also, I ain't gonna lie, they could also be using like. Uh, emotional, I mean, not emotional, yeah, emotional manipulation to try to, like, talk to you or get closer to you as well. Yeah, this person trying to come in. Yep, but you turn cold on this person. Turn cold on them. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Some of y'all could have found out they were juggling. But I feel like they released that. Because deep down inside, it yeah, could have definitely found out about the third party. But um, deep down inside, you really make them happy. Could be dealing with a Leo. So, what feelings are they telling you? Of how they feel about you. <laughs> it's like this piece of cotton that's just rumbling in my face, and I'm just looking at it. For uh, so y'all look at me and be like, "What is she doing? What is she looking at?" It's just floating, but I know what that is. So how? What is? Um, Scorpio's person feelings that they hiding from Scorpio not telling them. Brad in a cage. Yeah, at first I feel like this person was like really angry. You definitely either had a past life, you was married to this person in the past life, or you married to this person now. But this person actually trying to get it together now yeah even though they they could be trying to like put on a um a front or trying to be like as stubborn as you or like match your energy or something like that this person is trying to manifest you back yeah no one more Thank you. This person ready to deal with they sh with the with, with their own shit. I'm just saying, they ready to deal with it now because I don't feel like this person was taking accountability for what they was doing or how they was treating you. But I feel like some of y'all is kind of like. Still being, like, not giving in to this person. Yeah, trying to message you. Yep, main meal. One more. But this person feel like if they message you, you definitely ain't gonna be talking to them. We got thief. So this person was this person did get caught up in something. They did. 
I'm not gonna lie to you. They did. And some of y'all just went completely dumb. Yeah, like I said, some of y'all definitely could be married to this person or y'all was married to this person in the past life. We're waiting. Yep, forgiving and learning. Wanted to flip over. Well, I did flip over. Engagement. Codependent. I told you this person is emotionally codependent on you, the band is sad. And they, they want to give this relationship a chance. Pay attention to the red flags. Because this person could still be on some bush. Okay. Stay optimistic about your love life. So if you want this, I guess. There is like a win-win out, out this situation. I'm just saying. So what advice do you have for Scorpio? on your side new moon in Sagittarius so expect powerful change new moon eclipse there is about to be a change and like I said you're about to receive some type of good luck or some type of clarity about a situation that's going to be like in your favor or it's going to be like a wish fulfillment for you so that's all I got for y'all what y'all gonna do? What is y'all gonna do? Y'all gonna give this person a chance? Y'all gonna go back? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What are you gonna do? But I was, I actually had a channel the message that, uh, that little TJ song, what's that boy? Yeah, that's his name. Uh, calling my phone so <laughs> y'all could be acting like that said he calling my phone i just told you it's over mm, leave me alone no it's hurting to see me come so yeah y'all could be being stubborn towards this person and that's why they're trying to come back so heavy so heavy and so strong so that's all that i can have for y'all don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to book a personal reading with me Everything is down in the description box below. Also, my Instagram is down in the description box as well. Go over there and hit that follow button for me. I really appreciate it. Other than that, I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, poo-poos.